Welcome to the WinU Pro Beta 2 setup video. I'll be showing you how you can use your Wii U Pro controller with Windows using WinU Pro. I'm going to start off installing the Toshiba Bluetooth stack. If you already have that set up, you can go ahead and skip ahead. So I have my virtual machine here, which makes it easier for recording. And I have my Bluetooth device plugged in, which is currently using the Microsoft Bluetooth stack. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Computer, right click and choose Manage and then choose device manager and under Bluetooth radios right click on generic Bluetooth devices and choose properties then go to details and select hardware IDs take you're gonna to want to take a note of this value right here just right click and choose copy this is in case your Bluetooth device is not compatible with the Toshiba Bluetooth stack just minimize this for now and then open up a sticky note and just paste it here. That way we have it once we restart. Now back to the device manager, right click on this and choose uninstall. Now unplug your Bluetooth dongle and close this window and now restart your computer. Right, here we are back again and here's our device ID now let's go ahead and download the Toshiba Bluetooth stack I'll provide a link in the description and make sure you get the one that matches your operating system type my virtual machine's at 32 bit, so I'm just going to download that one. And let's let that download. Now that our download is complete, let's go ahead and install this. When you get to this point in the installation where it asks you to plug in your Bluetooth device, don't quite yet. Open up a Explorer window and go to Computer, C, Program Files, or Program Files x86 if you're on a 64-bit machine. Then Toshiba, Bluetooth Toshiba Stack, Drivers, and the last folder that has the USB at the end. And then you're going to want to take this file and move it to your desktop and then open the file and find this right here your device ID search for it and if it's not found then you need to add it if it is found you can go ahead and move that file back because then your device is already supported and there's no need for changes but if it's not found like mine copy this last line right above the standard dot ntamd64 and paste it right after. Change this number to the next sequential one, so in this case 153. And then copy your device ID and paste it right here. Just like that. And then copy that line and paste it at the end of this long strand. And then go to the very bottom and copy this last line and paste it right after and change this number to 153 and this just enter the name of your Bluetooth device and then save it close this and then copy this back into here Now you can plug in your device
and choose OK. Here, if it asks you, can't verify the publisher, say install driver anyway. And then that message should go away. And it'll continue to install using the Toshiba stack. Okay, the installation has finished here. Just click finish. It's going to tell you you need to restart. Go ahead and do that if you're ready to. And now that Windows has restarted. You should see that this icon looks a little bit different now. If your Bluetooth device was not um, compatible or supported, I mean, then it'll put it into an evaluation period of 30 days and then it'll want you to actually buy their their stack. Alright, so now you should be able to open this up. Just double click and you should be able to connect devices. As you can see here. I'm not going to connect anything just yet. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and set up VJoy. Close this. So just open up the link in the description. And just click on the download button. Note that we want the one from SourceForge. If you do search VJoy, you can get one from SourceForge or Headstrong. And there goes the download. It's only going to take a couple of seconds, but let's go ahead and skip ahead. And once it is done downloading, so open it up. Uh, we don't really need the demo application, but you can keep it on there if you want. However, we do definitely need the V configuration application. Once it says this, it says say install anyway. And here you have installed successfully. And you should need to restart your computer. It didn't ask me to, but it did last time, so I'm going to go ahead and restart. Okay, so I switched back to my host computer because my virtual one was giving me some difficulties with feeding the Bluetooth to it. So let's configure VJoy. So just open up the start menu and type in VJoy and configure VJoy. And up comes this window. We want the X and Y axis and we also want the RX and the RY. We don't need any POV hat switches because the D-pad is going to be mapped to buttons which helps with this uh, error that we get when trying to map POVs. It's not so much as an error as it is a bug. It's, it's, uh, it's quite simple really. It's just because it's not able to map to two directions at once unless you use a continuous. So you need at least 17 buttons. You can have more if you want, doesn't matter. And the action you want is configure. Your target device is, I'm just going to keep it to one, but you can have up to 16 devices here. And just choose apply or OK. And it'll configure the virtual joystick. Now let's open up our Toshiba stack Bluetooth connector. And if you have any Wiimotes or anything already connected, you're going to have to choose Delete. Um, that way only Pro Controllers will be connected. Uh, this will be changed later. It's currently a work requirement. It'll give you an error if you have other non-Pro Controllers connected. So let's add a new connection and hit the Sync button on your controller. And connect this device. And here it is connected. Now let's open up WinU Pro. And here we have this. And you should be able to see the middle two LEDs on your Pro Controller light up. And you should be able to move around and 
test this and every but digital buttons you press over here should all check up and your analog sticks and you can adjust the dead zones here and as you can see if you, it maps the joystick automatically so you have your left your with your x and y axis and your right with the rx and ry axis and before we can really use those in our game efficiently we need to go to devices and printers so that's in our control panel or we can just open up start menu and type devices and open up devices and printers and here you should be able to right click this and choose game controllers and you can see vjoy here choose properties and you have this test mode for some of you this will be locked either up here or down here or something weird like that so in the settings choose calibrate and just follow the instructions don't touch the joystick press a button and then move the joystick around in circles press a button don't touch anything press a button move the x-axis up and down which is your right stick and then the y-axis up and down on your left stick or right stick again and then finish and then these should be all good right here so you should be able to see all that and then the buttons you can test them out here and with some of the new features that we have in in this version you can also change the mappings of these buttons so if I want A to be Joyce button let's say I don't know 18 just hit apply or accept I mean properties when you hit A it should now light up 18 and all of these can be changed we have keyboard which you just hit detect key and then press it something and it shows you up right here what you pressed and you can have turbo enabled with different speeds so let's do some turbo and just choose accept you can just easily test that in notepad and as you can see we have different speeds so we can lower this down and they're not quite so fast we also you can also use turbo with the mouse buttons right now there's only left right and middle that's the, the only um, inputs that are supported by the library I'm using you can also use mouse movement which these can be mapped to buttons so if I choose that I can move it left with the A button or you can map it to your joystick here so we have up, down, left and right. And as you notice, you can also change the movement speed here. So there's uh, seven different speeds to choose from. So as I see, when we go right, it's actually going to move fast. So we have up, down, left, and then right is a little bit faster. So. So you can even map the other side to be a slower mouse speed or something like that. And as I showed you earlier, you can change the joy buttons here. So we'll have more features coming later in. And those are all listed on GBA Temp. I hope this has helped you get started and have fun and enjoy.